George, out of Grenada. That's right. Woo! Yes, man. Jesus Christ, this man fat, yes. <laughs> Woo! All right, Brooklyn, how you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go further, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know one thing. Who is responsible for the seating arrangements here tonight, man? Oh, God. I mean, you have all the good-looking people over here. Well, good-looking people over here. Give yourself a round of applause, man. All the good-looking people on this side. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause, man. You afraid? Yeah. And watch that side. Olio, Olio, look, look at this side. My God, I mean, you have all the better-looking people over here, man. Give yourself a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, you know, I want to say thanks for having me in Brooklyn. This is my first time here. I think I should get a round of applause for that, too. I've been baptized there, yeah. You know? And I went and I got a nice suit, too. A man just told me my suit suit me. I think I should get the suit a round of applause, too, yeah. The flight was good. Airport, you know, arrival was all right. I mean, they jostled me a little bit, but I understand that. You know, they felt like a fat terrorist, but there is a slim, they should put on anything. But um, I was happy until I reached outside. When I reached outside, I see a little boy crying in the entrance. I said, what happened to you? He said, you want to go inside. Well, me being this genuine Grenadian, I bet take it for the boy to go inside. I go by the bar while I go, I see crying again. I said, what happened? He said, you want that drink? You have no money. So I buy a drink for him. And I said, child, as a little boy, I mustn't cry, 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 everything. You want your crying. If you continue crying, when you turn a big man, you will look real ugly, you know? You know the old child watch and turn, the child watch man tell me, wait, well, you want to be real crying when you're the small boy. After I pay for him to come in and I buy him a drink, my own goodness caught me out. That's how. The little boy started to laugh at me. And turn around and tell me how I so fat, my suit have a stretch back. <laughs> yeah? The boy see how he see Jet Li already. He see Bruce Lee first time in Brooklyn. He seen ugly. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah? The part what hurt me was when the man tell me how I so ugly, the egg my mother take and make me, she should have fried. That part hurt me. Yeah, that hurt my boy. And the little boy laughing, he laughing, he catch me. I make, I make you spend your money. And he tells me, you see your nose, your nose remember my mother insurance policy. Your whole face covered. And all kind of thing. I tell him, yeah. But I say, you know, me really watching that and thing, you know, I still reach in Brooklyn and I proud and I go perform for my Caribbean people. Anybody from Trinidad? Yeah. Woohoo! And I want to pick up my hometown boy, Grenade. Any Grenadians in the house say, yeah, yeah! How about Barbados? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> How about Jamaica? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to focus on women, boy. I find out lately, i happy to see how women function in these days. Women take up the leading role, you know. Long ago, they used to say, woman bad. What I say in it tonight in Brooklyn College, there is nothing in the world, especially in the Caribbean, I could say, as a bad woman. If there's truly this, give me a round of applause. There's nothing like a bad woman. You see, some fellas that want to marry women, before they marry, they nice, 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 and after they married, they want to treat women like trash. Women say no to that, eh? Imagine men have to come to the realization that women are smarter than men. That is true? Yeah. Women smarter than men. Imagine, you know, this even on cell phone, women honing men better these days. Imagine a phone ring and a man honing his wife and he walking on the phone with a ring. Pick up the phone, he watch it. Watch your wife, you put it on. Pick up, you watch it. You watch your wife, he you put it on. And he sick. Stupid, what are you calling me for? But that time, the woman don't pick up the scene already. So she turned around and she said, hmm, think you're smart. And boy, she cell phone go ring. And she pick up, hi. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I got life for you. Okay. 
And she hung up. And she said, boy, that was my friend. You know how long I didn't see that girl? She was in Brooklyn. The other day. <laughs> but it was to hear the conversation on the other line. And I hear the conversation. Hi, your man there. Mm-hmm. You can't talk. Mm-mm. You going to work later? Mm-hmm. I seen you tonight. Yes. You sure I will see you? I have a life for you? No. Men have to come to the realization that women are smarter than men. If that is true, let me hear the lady scream. Now, another thing I want to, you know, I find men just do these days, men just want to embarrass women any and any way. Men, don't matter if you and the wife have a problem home, Sort out your problem home. Even outside a while ago, a man come with his wife, he and his boys, reach in front of the gate and tell her, you gotta buy the ticket, you gotta buy the ticket. She said, honey, why? You taking me to the show, why I must buy the ticket? He said, you want to buy the ticket? So you can't buy the ticket for me for what? Embarrassing the woman. Turn around and see all the money I just give you, buying a set of tight clothes, a set of bra, bra, bra you have. Eh? You're buying a million bra and you don't have nothing to put in it. Well, to my understanding was that Trini woman. And you know, nobody ever embarrassed a Trini woman. The woman turned around and she said, I have a set of bra. I don't have nothing to put in it. He said, yeah. She said, Marco, stinker. You have a set of boxes. What is that you had to put in it? And even in the home, women taking form start in the home. You know, some men just want to marry you. And when they married, before they married, it's lunch and work, candlelight, they all kind of thing. After they married, they're going down the drain. They're leaving home all kind of six o'clock, seven o'clock. And I go down the road with them fellas. Yes, I go talk to you when I come back. A woman married a man when he come home one night late. She said, look, you see this thing? They had to stop. She gave him her pants. He, she, he gave her pants to put on. He said, look, girl, turn on her pants. He said, that pants too big for me. He said, right, I am the man in this house. And when I leave, you shouldn't ask me what time, tell me what time to come back. I come back when I feel, and you can't tell me nothing. The woman said, uh-huh, so that is, this, that, that is the case? She gave a tongue for him. She said, put on that. When he put on one foot, the next side can grow up. She said, right, I run the sex in this house. And every six o'clock, there'll be sex happening in this house, whether you're here or not. Yeah. But the thing I, what I don't like is when some women have good friends, you know, and they start to, you know, good friends going on for years. And all of a sudden, one woman starts to jealous she friend, you know. I met a friend of mine the other day. She was in Grenada. The girl fat, fat, fat. I meet her on Flatbush Day. People, when you watch the girl from the front, she maga. When you watch her from the back, she maga. Well, I see the girl sideways, I barely make out, you know. I walk up to her, I say, darling, what happened to you? All your family dead? She said, no. What do you mean by that? I said, well, I realize you have nobody. <laughs> she said, how she wants to lose a little weight to look like she's friend. And then, but you see, ladies and gentlemen, God bless everybody in their own unique way. And not every outfit a woman put on or your friend by me, you go look good on you. You see, God bless certain people, like my friend right in front of you with your nice top. God bless you with a nice little cleavage to make the top look good. You know, you look, you're looking nice. You're looking good. You know, but some other women now who don't have what it takes to wear that top would jealous you. A woman finds she breasts not big enough, she go by the doctor. Doc, I want my breasts to get big like my friend would. The doctor says, okay, every morning they get up, go in the mirror and say, Mary had a little lamb. His feet was white as snow. Every way that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So every morning she gets up first thing in the morning, she went and do, she Mary had a little lamb thing. She find the breast and growing fast enough, 12 o'clock at work, Mary had a little lamb. His feet was white as snow. Every way that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. The breast and growing still. One morning she going down to work, she go right in the back of the bus, right down in the back, and she Mary had a little lamb. His feet was white as snow. Every way that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So a man turned around and said, wait now, you just do a therapy class. She said, yes, how you know that? He said, well, I have a little thing I do for myself. 
She said, why is that? He said, dickery, dickery, duh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. First time in Caribbean comedy, what was the excitement level for you? Well, personally speaking, it was a new experience, you know, being exposed to so much people in army. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I captured them. I had it where I wanted, you know. Mm -hmm. And everything went pretty well, just as planned, and mm -hmm. I put on the work, you know. Downey. Big dummy. Come on, boy. Caribbean people in the house. All right. Jamaicans, Wagwan. Wagwan. Trinis, what's the vibes? What's the vibes? What's the vibrations? I love my Caribbean people. I grew up in Miami. We got a lot of Caribbean people in Miami. I dated a Jamaican girl, Tisha Harper. Beautiful. I asked her out. She said yes. I was like, what? Yeah? Oh, okay. I was joking. She Jamaican girls don't play either. When this girl would get mad at me, I wouldn't know what the hell she was saying. She started talking that patois. I'm like, this girl is crazy. Bobby, don't play fool to catch flies. You want to go to school and catch flies? What the hell is wrong with you, girl? You need help. You need some Jesus in your life, girl. Going to school, catching flies. What's wrong with you? I don't mess with them Jamaican girls no more. Run around chasing flies. This is great. Some of you guys look a little confused when I came to the stage. Bobby Johnson? Nah. Boy, it looks like a gay John Leguizamo. That's what he looks like. <laughs> a gay John Leguizamo. I get it all the time, man. I don't know why. Just because I like to take care of myself, you know, look good. Dance butt naked with men, smack them on the butt. I don't know why people judge me like that. Oh, I wish I, if I was gay, I'd be cool because gay people are in style now, right? They got a flag, a parade. They got cowboy movies now. We got gay westerns. What the hell? Giddy up, bitch. Hey, giddy up. Beat me with your lasso. Beat me with your lasso. I'll never quit you. <laughs> oh. You watch. Pretty soon we're going to have gay terrorists. We're going to have gay terrorists, I'm telling you. Today I will blow it up in the name of Allah. But first I must moisturize. You want to fuck me, my friend? Put it in. Put it in, motherfucker. Take it, take it down. Take it, take it down. Seventy-two nicks for the Allah. Gay people are taking over. I'm telling you. I had a gay Jamaican come up to me after a show the other day. He said, "Blow me a kiss, boy. I mean, blow your kiss, boy. Blow, blow, blow." Hey, man, I was just joking. I'm a comedian. I'm not gay. I'm. Just... Take me backside, boy. Take me backside. Nice and easy. No woman, no cry. I said, damn, Bob Marley wrote a gay song? What the? Bob Marley? It's crazy, man. I love it. I love all the races, man. I love the Caribbean because you have so many races in your culture, right? Out of many one people. I got it, too. I come from a real mixed family. We got every race in my family, too. White, black, Japanese, Spanish. Hobbits, elves, giraffes. You guys coming to one of my family reunions, you feel like you got stuck at an immigration office all day. Everybody speaks a different language in my family. Hola, Bobby, como estas, chico? Konnichiwa, papi, son. Peanuts? Who the hell are you? It's crazy, man. I love it. It's be cool being mixed, too, because like, I can communicate with every race. It's great. Like, I was at a Spanish restaurant with my friend the other day, and he got so frustrated with the waitress because she barely spoke English. So he starts talking to her like she's retarded, like that's going to help her understand him, right? Why do we do that? We yell at people when they don't understand us, like they're deaf. They can hear you. They just don't know what the hell you're saying. He's like, I want the chicken 
breast sandwich. Boop, boop, chicken. Iced tea, yeah, glick, 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 glick. El squeeze, yo, de el lemon, oh. Ho. Poor waitress got all confused and insulted, so she snapped right back at my friend. She's like, whoa, 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 whoa. take it easy, papi. You take it easy. Why do you boop, boop to me? My heating inside is not broken. The problem is I no understand to you. Say something to me, then back to you again, to me, for you, to me. Jose, can you see by the dawn, early light, something like that. Then she just started making up words. You disrespectation to me, okay? No disrespectation for me to you. Never disrespectation for me to you again, okay? Maricon. I had to jump in quick. I had to calm my friend down. I was like, relax, man. I'll put the order in. I speak the language. Perdón, señor. Señorita, perdón, yo hablo español. My friend is trying to say he would like to please having no problem to you. Happy Christmas, Merry Valentine Day. Giving to him one sandwich from the titty of the chicken. I make love to you, baby. Boo -boo. Okay. And to drinking one icy tea. Squishy, squishy lemon. You know what she said, right? No problem. <laughs> Why he don't say so the first time? You friend need to speak English? Shit. <laughs> I just become the person. It's great, man. My grandmother on my mom's side is Japanese. 100% Japanese. Her English is so bad, this woman confuses herself whenever she tries to talk to you. She'd lose her mind whenever she tried to discipline me when I was little. Bobby, you come over here. No, 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 no. Sit to the, put over here. No, put the, the peekaboo, peekaboo. Buckle my shoe, hokey pokey. And she get real mad and she start trying to curse. We couldn't tell if she was speaking Japanese or English. But, no, no, put up, no, no, no. God the damn it. We're laughing at her like, Grandma, what are you trying to say? I don't know. <laughs> you professional English, you tell me. She can't stand that I do comedy too. It's not a real job to her. Every time I talk to her on the phone, Bobby, you still got the funny man job? <laughs> yeah, Grandma still got the funny man job. Why? You're not funny. <laughs> I'm more funny than you. Who you think you are, 50 Cent? Uh, Grandma, 50 Cent is a rapper. I know. He more funny than you, too. <laughs> you stupid. She's crazy, my grandmother. I love her, but she is out of her mind. She tries to get all cute with my personal life. Bobby, you got the ghetto friend? Uh, no, I don't, Grandma. Why? I don't know why. I know why. You gay, that's a why. <laughs> I said, Grandma, how do you know I'm gay? Oh, I can smell. I was like, what the hell do I smell like, Grandma? Like a gay, that's what you smell right. Look at you, no funny, no money, no honey. <laughs> and you gay too. You broken back mountain boy. I see movie. I see movie. And she eats some nasty food, boy. I don't know if you guys have any Asian friends. Asian people eat some scary food. My grandmother thinks that Fear Factor is a cooking show. She starts writing recipes down when it comes on. Ooh, three monkey ball. That's a good. That's a good. Five froggy nipple? Oh, keep a go. Keep a go. That's a good. God damn it. That's a good. Well, you are nasty. That's why I never go to her house to eat. She's always cooking something nasty. Bobby, I make a fry octopus. Do you say try? No, I'm good, Grandma. I'm good. Thank you. Why you no try, huh? Uh, it's gross. I don't know why. I know why. You gay, that's why. <laughs> she's 
She's crazy. Being mixed is cool, though. I'm telling you, you grow up so differently when you come from a, you know, a multi-ethnic family. You see things differently. Like when it comes to dating, I don't discriminate against any race. I don't have sex enough to be able to discriminate. You're a girl. You're doing it with me. Good. You be a little midget Irish girl. I will river dance that ass. That's what. Taste the rainbow. Play with me, lucky charms. They're magically delicious. We doing all <laughs> That's some gay Irish shit right there, right there. Woo, Jeremy Timbers. Like, you never see two black people walking down the street doing that, right? Yo, son, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow, all right? All right, cool. All right, peace out, son. All right. <laughs> you just don't see that. I love it, though. I don't discriminate against the women. The only girls I don't mess around with are these skinny, Nicole Richie-looking, Paris Hilton, cracked-out, body starvation. When it comes to a woman's body, I want to hear words like voluptuous and curvy, not bony and gristly. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm having sex with death. I'd be like, what? Is this legal? And the influence that they have on the other little white girls that are starving themselves, right? You see them shopping in the malls together. Hi, my name's Becky, and this is my friend Amber. She's had all of her ribs and vital organs removed. Do you have this in a bulimic blue, sir, by any chance? Oh, I'm sorry, Amber. I am so sorry. You need to eat. <laughs> Poor Amber's like, oh, my God, I'm so hungry. <sighs> Look, she can't even just keep her neck up. Look at Amber. She's like, oh, I'm so hungry. It's crazy, right? You need to eat, bitch. Why don't you get a damn, get a damn beef patty? Eat a damn beef patty, girl. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's why I like ethnic women, man, because ethnic women have the food and the culture, right? Like the Latin women. I love the Latin girls because Latin women are confident with the way they look, plain and simple. A Latin girl could be 1,100 pounds. She'll walk up to any guy on the street. Psst, 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 papi. You see something you like? It's too big for you? Then go around, bitch. Go around. Maricon, go around. Boop, 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 boop. Dame de gasolina. Rompe, rompe, rompe. And they've got the most festive butts in the world, too. You squeeze a Spanish girl's butt and a parade pops out. Ay, ole, 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 ole. Chiki, boom, 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 boom. Little flag, boop. Passionate, man. I think people are passionate, right? Latin, they're passionate people. Sometimes too passionate, though. Like, I can't tell if it's foreplay or domestic violence. Say, Maria, psh, I love you. No te muevas, no te muevas, Maria. Ay, ay. <laughs> Chiki, boom, boom, boom. Imagine a Latin dude trying to have sex with Amber. So I give it a try. I will give it a try. Okay. Pow! Oh, this I broke the bitch. This is not my problem. I am a good person. I eat my food. Give me a corona, please. This bitch, you need to eat some food. Arroz con pollo or something, baby. I like the Caribbean women, too. The black women. Oh, I love the black girls. Black girls got the butts when it comes down to the booty, right? Black women got some butts. Some of you are sitting in two chairs right now. Black girls got big butts for no reason at all. White girls look at black girls' butts and say, is that necessary? Is all that necessary, huh, Shaquifa? Huh? Taking up the whole sidewalk and everything. Where can I buy one? It's okay, Amber. It's okay. We'll call Dr. 90210. Black women have to take breaks when they walk down the street, carrying all that butt around, right? They Whoo, girl, I am tired. I'm going to take my ass home. Come on, you ready? Bitch, I will leave your ass right here. Hurry your ass. Hurry your ass up. You could be in a club dancing, fall down, bounce right back up. Just turn it into a dance, right? 
Be like, hey, this is my song, girl. I love it. I got it, bitch. I got this.